Good morning. Ram and I love coffee. We're cuckoo for coffee cups. Therefore, we've made it our low-key mission to seek out the best cup of coffee that we can find. Too many times we find ourselves disappointed with the many options out there. This one's too bitter. That one is outrageously expensive. That other one has literally no flavor. We're looking at you, Instant Coffee. So far, the one coffee company that checks all of our boxes for flavor, affordability, and quality is a brand that just so happens to be right here in Kansas City, The Roastery. So when we found out that the roastery has a guided tour of their factory, we jumped at the chance to be able to see the place where our favorite beans are roasted every day. We can't wait to go inside and experience the sights, sounds, and smells of this awesome factory. Along with stocking grocery shelves throughout the Midwest region, the roastery runs six cafes throughout the Kansas City area, including the one right here at the entrance to the roastery factory. There's also a marketplace where you can purchase everything that you need, from a Chemex, to coffee cups, to sweet roastery merch. There's something here for every coffee lover. So we just got done with the roastery factory tour and it was simply awesome. We learned so much about how coffee is grown, processed, and roasted that we had no idea about. Due to the nature of the tour, we really weren't able to stop and talk about each step along the way. Instead, we're going to share with you a glimpse into our experience. That way, maybe you'll be inspired to take the tour on your own. After donning our hair and beardy nets, we met up with Nathan, our awesome tour guide for the day. He kicked off the tour with a quick lesson on how coffee beans are grown, harvested, and the whole farming process. It was so crazy to learn how much work goes into getting just one pound of coffee beans. Next on the tour, we saw the very first air roasting machine that was invented in 1970. Then we saw the air roasting machines that they use for roasting the coffee beans today. Coffee roasting technology has come so far in such a short time. Finally, we saw where they package and seal the coffee for shipping. From there, the coffee is delivered to stores, the roastery cafes, and to people at home just like us. The coffee is roasted fresh to order every single day. So if you order some yourself, you know it's going to be as fresh as possible. Following the tour on the main factory floor, Nathan then introduced us to the roastery's cold brew coffee process. The best part is, we got to try some! So Nathan told us that all of their cold brewed coffees here don't have anything in them. There's no calories, no sugar, no sweeteners, no flavorings or anything. It's all just natural coffee and um, diluted after it's roasted with water. But the way that they get their flavored cold brews is by adding an herbal tea to it. So this is the raspberry chocolate. And when they add the raspberry tea to it, it brings out the notes of chocolate in the coffee. Let's try. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So good. You can really taste the raspberry. And I didn't think it was really going to taste like chocolate, but it does. It's so good. And it's zero calories. It's good for you, and it tastes good. Okay. Okay. 
that's like a dirty tea. That's really good. I really, I kind of expected something more like a Starbucks Frappuccino where it's usually filled with sugar and flavoring and it feels kind of syrupy. This is smooth, it's liquidy, it's fresh, it's just straight coffee and it's really amazing. Hi, I'm Nathan, I'm the tour guide here at the Roastery Factory, uh, Kansas City's air roasted coffee. Uh, if you wanna come learn about some coffee and you know, try some of it yourself, come do a factory tour one day, seven days a week. It's a can for our coffee beans. It has a fancy little like plunger inside that you put in and it keeps all the light and moisture and air out to keep your coffee fresh. The roastery tour was a fun and educational experience for the both of us. We definitely have a newfound appreciation for the entire process that goes into making an excellent cup of coffee. Even though we'll never stop trying new coffees, the roastery will always have a special place in our hearts and our pantry. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Two for Adventure. If you enjoyed this episode, hit that like button. And if you want to be informed on more fun and affordable adventures, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, never, never stop, stop exploring. exploring.